Hey, welcome uh, to the channel. Today I'm going to give you five questions to ask your, yourself before you decide if you want to file a permanent resident card renewal application under humanitarian and compassionate grounds. Uh, PR card renewals under agency grounds are for people who were not able to meet the two years out of five residency requirement, but because of certain uh, factors outside of their control, um, they decide to still submit the renewal, but include information, documentation um, about the reasons why they, they were forced to remain outside Canada. So the first question to ask yourself is, how many days did I actually spend in Canada? Because before you start your application, it's important for you to have all that information because once you start filling out the forms, um, you're gonna realize that you need all those dates and it could really pause everything. So before even um, start saying, oh, I'm going to file this next week or something like that, um, try write down every single day that you spent in Canada, all the dates and every single day you spent outside Canada all those dates and where you were and the reason why you were there. So what we usually do at the office is we have an Excel sheet and we write in, we have the specific columns and we have our clients write down um, all the exact dates. Then the second question to ask yourself is, what's the reason why you were not in Canada? Was it because you had a family member that was sick and you were the only person that needed to attend to that person? Um, did you have a specific work obligation um, and because of that, you had to remain, there was an urgent situation. It can't just be, uh, for example, oh, I had a better job opportunity outside Canada. It has to be something very specific. Uh, was there like a medical condition uh, where you may be care a caregiver for, for somebody um, who was a minor or something like that and you absolutely had to be outside? So the, the, the reasons can be very varied depending on everybody. So important to think about that and, and write down the details um, of, of the situation. Third question to ask yourself is, did you try to return to Canada? Did you do all your efforts to try to come back? Let's say you were, you've been outside for a few years, your PR card expired, now you're going to renew it. Did you look for you know um, ways? Did you inquire? Did you put efforts? Because when you file your application, the officer wants to see that, that whatever the situation was, you considered Canada to be your home and you, you did everything you could in your power to try to come back to Canada. Uh, fourth question is, what are your ties to Canada? Now that you haven't lived in Canada for a long time, um, do you have any uh, family members living in Canada? Do you have any friends? Do you have any um, employment opportunity left for you? Do you have uh, ownership? Do you have uh, a house, a car, bank accounts? Uh, did you maintain your, your records? Did you maintain, let's say, your driver's license, your health card? Um, did you c communicate with people here? Um, did you basically kind of still have a life here even though you were forced to remain outside Canada or did you completely cut everything, all your relationships, um, your entire relationship with Canada and, and you have no documentation. So it'll be uh, good to write down all those points. And the last question to ask yourself is, what is the hardship that I'm going to to have if, if I cannot come back to Canada? Um, so when you prepare your application, um, it's important to outline that. If you cannot come back, are you going to suffer? Um, is there something that you were planning to do in Canada or something you left behind in Canada or where you're living now, can you no longer live there um, because your plan was always to come back to Canada? So important to really sit down and, and write down your story. Um, if you decide to apply yourself, you should write a cover letter explaining in detail all of the situation because that's what the officer the officer is going to look to see if there's sufficient humanitarian and compassionate grounds to grant you the renewal. If you hire a legal representative to do it, then the legal representative will write a, a submission letter, a legal submission letter, it's a cover letter, that's going to outline all of these questions and answers and details so that when the officer gets your application, um, the application is complete and strong and it's a discretionary application. So the officer has full power to say yes or no. So the more information, the more documentation you submit and it, the, the more it's clear and precise and you really place your your story is in the file. So the, the more it's complete, then there's better chances, uh, higher chances for the officer to uh, approve your decision so that you can return and live in Canada, continue living in Canada as a permanent resident. 
If you have any questions about PR card renewals uh, under humanitarian and compassionate grounds, um, you can send us an email at uh, info at keyorgimmigrationlaw.com. Uh, you can also check out our website, keyorgimmigrationlaw.com. We have a contact form. You can send us your question. We'll be happy to answer you. Thank you. Thank you.